Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your 1 p.m. market update for Friday the 16th of September. You know, 70 years ago the United States went over to Europe to help save Europe from an imminent Nazi invasion. It was a different world back then. America was a different country. America at the time was a strong growing nation having just come out of the depression years. Here we are 70 years later going over once again to save Europe. Oh, let me rephrase that. Timmy Geithner is going to help save Europe again. Somehow I just don't buy it. This is what I mean. The Eurozone is in deep, deep financial trouble. America is not the America of the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and even 80s when America was the driving force of the world's economy. That is when people used to work hard and had jobs. We made things in America, and Americans saved money. How can we possibly help save Europe when we need a lifeline ourselves? I believe the banks are still in serious trouble based on three key points. One, there is no transparency. Two, here's a, there's a huge undisclosed bond debacle that hasn't been marked to market on the books of the banks in Europe. And three, the banks here in the U.S. still have a huge mortgage and foreclosure problem that they haven't fully owned up to. Right now, the trend for the banks remains negative based on our trade triangle technology. Having said that, we will always rely on our trade triangle technology and not let any other biases corrupt our trading style. The equity markets in the U.S. have rallied on this false assumption that everything is going to be okay. Of course, the stock market is made up of thousands of stocks, and some stocks will be winners, while others will be losers. However, the general trend in the S&P 500 market, which we consider to be the most important index, remains negative. Now let's go, but first, before we go to the six major markets to help we track and follow every day to help create and maintain your wealth in 2011. Here's the fastest, easiest way for you to improve your trading. It's one-on-one -on -one market club personal coaching. Give the number on the screen a call 1-877-219-1482 and speak to a consultant. There's no, there's no obligation whatsoever. Just see if it's right for you. So give them a call 1-877-219-1482. So let's go to the markets we track and we're going to be looking at our portfolio. We're going to start off with the S&P 500 as we would normally do. And this market has sort of reached what we consider to be the top of the channel. Uh, it's getting close to an overbought condition again. But the interesting thing about the S&P 500, I'm going to put my Telestrator on to show this phenomenon to you. And we'll see if it comes true. If you look at these markets, especially the S&P 500, if you draw this like right here and right here, the distance here is, tends to be 11 or 12 days. Draw this out to here, and you can see from the highs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or on this high, it's 11. So we're in a high zone. Also, we're in an overbought condition. So I think, generally speaking, the rhythm has been like this. I think it's going to continue, and I think we're going to see this market go on the downside and break out on the downside. The reason I say that is this, because our monthly trade trend, which we consider the most important trend. I'm going to take this off the screen because it looks a little bit confusing. The monthly trade triangle, which we consider to be the most important element in our trade triangle technology, is still negative from 1258. And that is the overriding concern. Now, we've been up five days in a row. The chances of that happening are very, very slim uh, before the market turns around. You can see back here we had five days in a row. Then we turn. So I think we're very close to that 11, 12-day high. I think next week this market's going to be on the defensive, and we'll see the lows tested once again. We, sent, we tend to oscillate from euphoria to despair and back again. So let's see how this plays out, but let's go to the next market. Kind of interesting things going on in the silver market, because we talked about this last yesterday, as a matter of fact, about the market was very oversold, similar to where we were here, and similar to where we were back here in June of last year. Excuse me, the June of this year. So here we are. If we have a similar situation each time from these levels and these levels, it produced a rally of around six dollars. Now this is the, if this is the case again, you no, know, so here we are, here we are there, and here we are again here. Each time we rallied over six dollars in silver. Now if that's the case, we're coming from around the forty dollars. We could go up to forty six potentially, but certainly I think we could go, we could, and it's a could Matter, we could go to 44. So again, the next level to look at is going to be our 
green daily triangle when that kicks in uh, because we're definitely coming from an oversold condition here. You can see quite clearly and we've also got the MACD negative. This also turns positive, so let me just illustrate that for you. So if we see the uh, MACD line just come around like this and cross over the red line, that would be a good signal that the momentum has started to move up and we can see this market go quite a bit higher. So again, overall we're still bullish. This is a very good support area. We, we talked about this yesterday. It hit it. It's come back. It's looking good. Let's see if it continues. So let's clear the screen. Go to our next market, which is gold, which is very exciting right now. And I want to share that with you. And gold, the gold market potentially could have a what we could. Let me put our illustrator on here. Could have or create a bullish engulfing line today. So depending on where we close, but if we close, we've already engulfed this entire day here. So if we close up here and then close higher on probably Monday, uh, certainly Sunday's a day with gold trades because we trade gold six days a week uh, with real-time prices here at Marco. But if we close high, it confirms that this is a low. Like here, we were looking for this market to get down to around this area, the uh, I think it's the 1780 area we talked about. It got a little bit lower than that. It's a Fibonacci retracement, but it's coming back. And it's also coming back from an oversold condition. Now, each time, the last time we had this condition, like this in place. And this is going to make a lot of the bulls very, very excited. If we scroll down here, the last time we had a situation where the gold market was this oversold, which is right here and right here, the market rallied $400. Okay, so $400 from here, around the $1,500 level, took you up to $1,900. And if we rally from this level here, we'll, we'll call that, let's just call it 1750 So we will be looking at $400, it would be 2150 if the same scenario plays out. Now that would be, obviously, lots of people are talking about the $2,000 an ounce gold. We could certainly see it in this last push-up or this next push-up in gold. But once again, let me clear the screen and I'll share this with you. Clear this off. And we're going to go here, and uh, let me just give me one second. And let's go back here and scope this up here. Okay, so once again, our trade triangles, which we 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 really really believe in, and once you remember, if you're a member of Market Club already, you know how they work. You know how good they are. They have never wavered. They've always remained positive, positive on the weekly and the monthly. Only the daily has turned red. Now that can change. And you can see it's from 1857, so it's quite a bit higher. Now I think this possibly next week we could see this market uh, move up. And again, I think we're looking at a similar situation where uh, cycle wise we can see one more push up and possibly over the $2,000 an ounce level, which would be very, very. Um, interesting for a lot of traders, I'm sure. So let's go to our next market. The next market we're looking at is crude oil. And crude oil, as we've been saying for so long now, is, uh, let me just clean this off the screen. Crude oil continues to be a problem right around the $90 a barrel level. It's barely, uh, barely higher for the week. Uh, we've seen this market, uh, I think it closed around 86.16 last week. But we are going to do an update this weekend for crude oil and the rest of the market we track. So please tune in this weekend and check out our weekend wrap. You'll find it very interesting as we look at some things a little bit differently. But again, you've got a minus 55, uh, which means a trading range. Uh, you know how to trade that with a Donchian trading channels and a Williams percent R, which is turning down, which you can see right now. Also, this indicator, the MACD, is just beginning to roll over. So again, we're not bullish, but we're not bearish either. It looks like you're just sort of much the same that we've had for most of August and certainly September so far. It's been a sort of sideways motion, um, but overall it still looks like the trend. Again, our monthly trade trials are still negative, meaning that the trend is still down. And it's negative from 96.56, so here we are at 87.97, so call it 88. That's about $8,000 a contract on the contract of crude oil. So let's go to our next market. Now this is a market that we're actually bullish on. 
Uh, we've talked about this market overall. Uh, we think it's going to be a really nice move up. Uh, and again, again, it gets back to the pundits. Everyone was negative on this market. I'll, I'll close this in very closely. And you can see we were looking for a move down to the original breakout point, which was 76.10. Uh, if we go here, the low was 76.06. So we definitely had an opportunity to get long in this market. 76.60 currently. Uh, the longer term trends, the monthly trends, the weekly trends on the trade triangles are positive. Only the daily is a little negative. I think we're coming also, not from, not quite from a really oversold condition, but nonetheless, this is not unusual for a market to break out, come back, test the support line, which is the previous resistance, and then start moving up again. So I think next week we'll probably see this market do better, and I think Europe's probably going to uh, have some problems, and I think you're going to see the banks under pressure next week, as well as other things, and the metals, silver, and the dollar do better. So let's go to our next market. And that's going to be the CRB index. And um, here it is. We've been negative on this index. And as you know, we've been looking for a move down to the 330 area. Well, we got that earlier today. The low was 329.04. We've come back a little bit. We are certainly in or getting close to an oversold condition. And also a level on this particular index it pulled back to the 326 level as a 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement. Uh, we, as you know, we put a lot of faith in that, and uh, let me just scope this out a little further. And this is how we measure that. You just go from the highs here, drag it down to the lows, and you can see the 326.24 level. Uh, you can see the area we 50. We've had the 50 percent retracement level 23.29.56. We've had that. But I don't think it's over with yet. I think we can still see potentially, maybe, I don't know, but it's maybe a little early to predict that. But certainly the market is oversold. So the next direction in this index will probably be a bounce to the upside. But again, we're very, very bullish on inflation, if that makes sense. But we haven't seen the signal yet for that to happen. So anyway, we'll see, uh, we'll see how it plays out. But this weekend, be sure to check in with us because we are having a weekend wrap. Uh, hope to do that early Saturday morning for you, so uh, it's Eastern Standard Time. And uh, once again, uh, you should really, if you, here's the fastest, easiest way for you to improve your trading. You know, as we come to the end of the week, I'd like to really ask you, ask yourself this question. Is personal coaching right for me? You know, give us a call at 877-219-1482 for a free consultation and see if personal coaching is right for you. The number again is 877-219-1482. But first, view my personal invitation to you about our one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can see that on our blog. There's a link there on the bottom. But this is Adam Hewison from Market Club. Have a great day. I'll see you here tomorrow with a weekend wrap. Have a great trading day.